For the past two weeks, we've been stuck in a very persistent weather pattern which I frequently referred to as extreme. This pattern which established itself back in January helped foster the development of major storms for parts of Northern Europe, with the most notable one being an incredibly powerful bomb cyclone now being considered Norway's worst storm in three decades. At the same time, parts of southern Europe have experienced and continue seeing an abnormal spell of dry and warm weather, all thanks to a stubborn anti-cyclone. This forecast is going to discuss in greater detail the collapse of this weather pattern as a massive low pressure barrels into western Europe from the Atlantic Ocean. This will bring strong winds, heavy rainfall, and even snow to many of us, so let's take a look at what you can expect. Let's start this off today with our usual weather tracker map. This week is starting off with that same old high pressure still in place, but as you're going to see shortly, that's going to be changing by the end of the week. A stream of rainfall is moving right into Scotland, which has prompted some yellow warnings, but throughout the day today, that's going to shift southward since the anticyclone is going to begin weakening and moving towards the east. Then a small polar low will latch onto the stream of moisture today, becoming a sneaky snowstorm from Norway all the way into the Baltic countries through February 7th. That's going to help pull down some colder air just in time for this massive Atlantic storm to make its final approach. Here's what we're going to be looking at by Wednesday night into Thursday morning. We have widespread rainfall moving into Western Europe, with some of this possibly switching to snowfall in parts of Northern Ireland and North Central England. More of the same is going to be possible for Central and Eastern Europe since we just had a wave of colder air move in prior to the arrival of the storm. By Friday, February 9th, just look at how expansive this activity is going to be. We could even have some torrential rainfall impacting Morocco associated with the low pressure system over Ireland. And then by Saturday, the system isn't going to make too much progress since it does appear to be stalled out over Ireland and the UK. But one thing you may be noticing is the fact that the precipitation is kind of avoiding Southeast Europe. It turns out that the high pressure area is going to continue causing abnormally high temperatures as it moves east. Watch this mass of warmer air slide its way across southern Europe, and then once it reaches eastern areas, it grows in size, bringing temperatures 10 to 15 degrees Celsius above historical averages. Then for a brief period of time, the Atlantic storm is going to bring a strong cool breeze from the northwest, so that's going to keep some parts of western Europe, especially in Iberia, under slightly cooler than normal temperatures. Now on the snowy side of things, here are the possible accumulations in the next five days, and there's a distinct area of interest to focus on, and I'm going to outline it in red. This is going to be a region where cold and warm air masses meet. On the northern end, cold air is going to already be in place, so when that precipitation moves in from the south and west, this is going to allow for a swath of snow to develop. Northern Ireland, England, and Scotland look to get some snowfall, but keep in mind that the heavier accumulations will be confined especially to higher elevations. Then looking further east, we see a sharp cutoff extending from northern Germany down into Ukraine. Anywhere north of this line will see snowfall, and in some cases, it may be more than one round of snow. If you look closely, you can see some heavier accumulations from southern Norway into northern Denmark, southern Sweden, Lithuania, and Belarus, and that's because this region could see two separate rounds of significant snowfall. For southern Europe, we can obviously expect snowfall to remain pretty sparse as that unseasonable warmth persists, with only some mountainous areas getting snowfall. Another aspect of the system which may be impactful for some areas is freezing rainfall, and this is where we could see some freezing rain according to the GFS. One of the things that may mitigate the freezing rain is the fact that the warm air will lift northward, so some places may start as snowfall, switch to freezing rain briefly, and then end in rainfall. This may bring a quick glaze of ice to some of these areas in the white shade, which won't be anything out of the ordinary for these areas, but of course make sure that you're careful on the roadways or sidewalks. Take a look at the forecasted wind gusts and watch how dramatically these winds increase as the storm approaches. All of the weather models are now agreeing on wind gusts over 100 km per hour, primarily in northern Portugal and Spain. It's also important to note that the most heavily impacted areas will be coastal and mountainous areas. Rainfall totals will be pretty heavy over the next five days, especially in Western Europe, with even Northern Africa getting some significant rain. South Central and Southeastern Europe will miss out on this precipitation for the most part in this time frame, 
but I think that we might see some more significant precipitation moving in by next week. That's going to be all for this video, but this storm is only the beginning of a changing weather pattern. What's in store after this big storm moves in and will it get colder? I guess only time will tell for now. I'll continue to closely monitor the latest developments over the next several days, and when there is something noteworthy on the horizon, I'll be posting a new video. If you don't want to miss anything, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and for now, thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.